Let's take a look at this problem. I have log base 3 of 9 square root of x over y. Now we never want radicals in these, so I'm going to rewrite that. Square root of x becomes x to the 1 half power over y. Okay, so we're looking for the main things happening here. We got uh, the one half power, we got multiplication, we got division. Well, the main thing that's happening is division. We got something up on top divided by something on the bottom. Well, division becomes subtraction. So we got log base 3 of 9x to the one half minus log base 3 of y. Now, the y is by itself. We just got log in front of it, so that one's done. Let's look at the first parentheses here. Um, main thing that's happening is multiplication. We got 9 times x to the 1 half. Well, multiplication becomes addition. So this becomes log base 3 of 9 plus log base 3 of x to the 1 half. And then I'll bring down the minus log base 3 of y. Well, my first one here, the 9. Our base is 3. We can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. Now this uh, here, the x is not by itself, it's got a power on it, and we've got a property that says you can take the power and put it out in front of the log. So that becomes one plus one half log base three of x minus log base three of y. Now the x and y are by themselves, so that one's good. Over here, the threes match, so the log and the three is going to cancel and leave us two plus one half log base three of x minus log base 3 of y. And that's our answer.